Small cell lung cancer, or SCLC, is an aggressive form of lung cancer. It grows and spreads rapidly, often by the time it's diagnosed. Surgery is rarely used as part of the main treatment for SCLC, as the cancer has usually already spread by the time it is found. The current go-to treatment is chemotherapy, often combined with radiation therapy. These treatments can be brutal. They can damage healthy cells and tissues leading to side effects like nausea, hair loss, and fatigue, among many others. Ultimately, it can weaken the body's ability to fight cancer. And while chemo and radiation can be effective initially, SCLC is notorious for coming back. When it does, patients find it harder to tolerate the chemotherapy, and the chemotherapy is even less effective. The prognosis for extensive stage SCLC is poor, with less than 3% of patients surviving more than 5 years. This highlights the need for novel targeted therapies. In May 2024, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved tarlatumab under the brand name Imdeltra for treatment of adult patients with extensive stage small cell lung cancer with disease progression on or after platinum-based chemotherapy. Tarlatumab is a bispecific T-cell engager, or bite molecule. It works differently than standard chemotherapy by harnessing the body's immune system to fight cancer. Tarlatumab is administered by intravenous infusion. Once infused, tarlatumab moves throughout the body, finding its targets. Imagine tarlatumab as a two-armed antibody. One arm latches onto a protein called DLL3, a growth-promoting molecule that sticks up like a flag and is found in abundance on the surface of the cancer cells. The other arm latches onto CD3 on T cells. T cells are the immune system's soldiers that can kill cancer cells if they come close enough. Tarlatumab acts as a bridge between the T cell and SCLC cell, resulting in poor formation, transfer of granzymes, and apoptosis of the SCLC cell. This leads to T cell mediated tumor cell lysis. To simplify, tarlatumab directs T cells to attack SCLC with precision. The FDA accelerated approval of tarlatumab was based on results from the Delphi 301 trial, a phase 2 study that evaluated the anti tumor efficacy and safety of tarlatumab in patients with previously treated SCLC. The trial included 99 patients with extensive stage SCLC whose cancer had progressed after platinum-based chemotherapy, which is the standard first-line treatment. Each patient received tarlatumab every two weeks at a dose of 10 mg, until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity. The results of the trial were encouraging. Tarlatumab demonstrated a robust objective response rate of 40%. In simpler terms, 40% of patients responded well to the treatment, meaning their tumors shrank. The responses were durable, lasting an average of 9.7 months. Overall, the patients who received tarlatumab lived an average of 14.3 months. These findings helped pave the way for the FDA approval of tarlatumab. Tarlatumab is not a cure, and like any treatment, it can cause side effects. A serious side effect of tarlatumab is the potentially life-threatening cytokine release syndrome, or CRS. It's an overreaction of the immune system that can cause symptoms like rash, rapid heartbeat, and low blood pressure. Other common side effects include fatigue, fever, taste changes, loss of appetite, and muscle pain. It's crucial to remember that tarlatumab is a new treatment. While initial studies are promising, further research is ongoing to confirm its long-term effectiveness and safety profile. And that's it for today's pharmacology video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more pharmacology content.